Blood pressure. This is the amount of force exerted by the blood in an outward direction on the vessel walls that it's currently travelling through. So this could be in an artery, this could be an arterial, a capillary, a venial or a vein. It's the pressure exerted by the blood in an outward direction on the vessel wall. And there's a few things which, which actually determine the level of blood pressure within a person. Now, the go-to answer would be the heart. However, cardiac output or the blood that's actually leaving the heart per minute and the force at which it's actually leaving the heart doesn't always determine blood pressure. We actually have the, the vessels themselves, the length, the diameter, because what this does, it actually causes or it's called peripheral res resistance. So the resistance that the blood meets while traveling through a blood vessel. So we can combine these two ideas, cardiac output and the peripheral resistance to get our blood pressure. And the calculation is blood pressure equals cardiac output times resistance met. And there's two different phases of blood pressure. We have the systolic phase and the diastolic phase. In systole, this is when the heart, or in particular the left ventricle, is contracting. Now when this is contracting, we can measure the blood pressure of a person and we can measure the, the pressure exerted by the blood on the out or on the on the walls of the vessels as it's traveling and under force or under pressure from the systole contraction. So when the left ventricle is forced to contract and causes blood to surge through the vessels, the peak of that blood pressure is known as our systole blood pressure. Diastole blood pressure is the reverse. When the heart is at its most relaxed phase and the blood pressure begins to drop as that surge or that wave of force actually begins to dissipate along the length of the vessel. What we then have is diastole blood pressure. So to summarize, we have cardiac output, we have the length of the blood vessel, we have the diameter of the blood vessel, or in other words, the peripheral resistance or the resistance that blood meets after it's actually been ejected from the heart.